Hello, hello there. This is MK Azerbaijan with you once again. I'm a professional Mortal Kombat player with multiple high placements in major online and offline tournaments and today I'm gonna cover a guide for my second main character which is Rain. Before we start, make sure to check out Dash Fight website for anything FGC related. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content in future. Rain is the fastest and one of the hardest characters to play in high level. He is a strike throw based character that's pretty well known for its super fast mobility. Now, that's the keyword here mobility. To enhance his mobility, first you should understand how to use the wave dashing. The difference between wave dash and normal dash is that wave dash helps you move faster and block faster. You can wave dash by canceling your dash with your block button and by doing it repetitively you will go faster and instantly block when it's necessary. Like dash block, dash block, dash block like I do it right now. So what I want you to do is to pause this video and go to the practice mode and train your wave dashing until it's super clean and then come back because you can't play rain without wave dashing properly. Now that you know how to wave dash properly, let's see what rain's good buttons are. Now starting with standing one. Now standing one is a jab, fastest attack. Uh, jab is always important, we all know that. Uh, so the second one is standing two. Uh, standing two has a nice hitbox. Uh, it is also a pretty good anti-air button, but there is nothing special about it, to be honest. Uh, standing 3, high attack, that gives slight pushback on block. Back 1, great stagger button. Uh, back 2, best mid in his arsenal, used for his strike throw game and also really good meaty button. Back 3, his only low attack. Uh, Forward 2, longest mid attack, good for whiff punishing your opponents. Forward 3, low crashes, great footsie tool, minus 1 on block. Forward 4 is another footsie tool with great range but is problematic when opponent jumps at you. So use it very carefully. Down 1, his fastest poke. Down 3, his best poke. Great footsie tool due, its, due to its long range. Uh, down 4 has the same range with down 3 but is slower. But gives more damage and hit advantage on hits so only recommended in specific cases. Rain has the wildest variety when it comes to your variation select. You can build up a tool base that will help you to play any style like rush down, keep away, zoning or I don't know, reversal, like anything. There are so many variations that you can create that it will take me hours to show you all the combinations. So it is up to your creativity how you want to play Rain. First of all, Gazer Palm is a must have special in your tool base because it will enhance your combos and is useful in many positions like anti-airing. So it is a one slot taken. The others are optional. Riptide, Water Bowl and Purple Rain are real weak and I don't recommend them. Uh, you can actually use them, uh, they are not that bad, but it won't cover Rain's full potential. Hydroplane, Tidal Wave and Hydro Boost are really good in Rain's close range game. Edenium Force is super fast move that will help you in many options like punishing low specials or getting away from your opponent. Quantum Slice plus Edenium Force activates Air Quantum Slice move which is extremely fast and safe on block when amplified and it covers all the distances. Last but not least, Quantum Rift is a really strong tool that absorbs a projectile and helps Rain to play the counter zoning in specific matchups. There are three strings that will cover your core game plan with Rain and those are the ones that are starting from Jab Attack which is 133 and 134 and the other one is 
back to 1 2. Now, 1 3 3's last attack is high, so it can be ducked and you can be punished by your opponent. And 1 3 4 is an overhead, but it can be flawless blocked as well. So, in any situation, if your opponent makes a hard read, you're gonna get killed. So, you gotta use it very, very carefully. Back to 1 2 is a mid string that is used for strike throw game and also his prime string to meet your opponent. This string also can be flawless blocked, but keep in mind that there is an always threat for special cancels, so you can somehow compensate it with that. These old gaps can give you problem only when your opponent makes on your hard reads, as I said before. So it is all up to you, like you be too obvious, you're dead. Other strings are all situational. Forward 2 down 4 is good in neutral but gives you no threat. Instead, forward 2 as a button into special cancel is more threatening. So, forward 2 down 4 is good when you have no bar to safely special cancel. Uh, forward 2 grab gives you crushing blow for a punish and can only be converted into fatal blow and will give you a massive 45% damage. Keep in mind that forward 2 grab without crushing blow into fatal blow uh, will scale the damage and will give you around 28% so don't use it unless the kill is guaranteed. Back 1-4 is a great combo ender with a hard knockdown. When you use it as a combo ender, it will give you a slightly less damage, but you will have a chance to continue your offense since all the wake up options can be reacted. Back 3-4 is minus 7 on block and is very situational button. This string actually covers all the wake up options, but if your opponent decides to respect you, you will lose your turn immediately. We're talking about rain, we're talking about speed. This character doesn't like juicy combos with great damage. He likes to play heavy strike throw game, he likes to whiff punish you all the time, he likes to use his katar to control the neutral, and he likes to make his opponents do a mistake. Remember I told you to master his wave dashing? This is the reason for that actually. You can successfully do the things that I mentioned only if you manage to move fast. You shouldn't use Rain's wave dashing for just approaching fast, but you should use his wave dashing as a as a neutral tool. Go back and forth all the time and miss your opponent, make them wave. But not only mobility is enough sometimes in controlling the neutral, right? But don't worry, Qatar actually solves this problem. Regular Qatar has a long recovery on Whiff and it is high. EX Qatar on the other side is a mid and recovery is pretty fast. So, so what you have to do is to keep Amplify Qatar as a thread and make them respect both your regular and Amplify Qatar in neutral. The combination of your mobility and the correct usage of Qatar will make Rain pretty strong in neutral. You see they jump use the gazer palm to anti-air. It's a great anti-air, one of the best in the game. In a close range, your main weapon is your grab, back to 1-2 and 1-3-3. Three, three. You either shimmy your opponent or you just do the grab that has crushing blow on both sides 
After knockdown, you implement the same theory. You either Meaty with back to 1 2 or grab knowing that they will respect your Meaty attack. Now, that is the way you open up your opponent with raid. Another way is by doing counter reversals. Use your mobility to make your opponent weave by using some tricky options. One of Rain's main weaknesses are his damage output. A lot of players don't like playing Rain because they think the reward they get for the right decision is smaller than their opponents. Another weakness Rain has is the lack of pressure. He doesn't have a single plus frame on block so the pressure gets a bit harder to accomplish. But I think his super mobility compensates all the mentioned and I think Rain is one of the strongest characters in Mortal Kombat 11. Although he requires tons of time and strong dedication to master, he becomes a beast on the right hands. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this guide was helpful to understand the basics of Rain. By the way, you can also check out the text version of this video in the link in the description below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content. I'll see you around. Stay safe.